All right, guys, today is going to be a seafood brunch for my wife, cousin, cousin. So I'm actually going to surprise her with this meal. She's on the other side of this camera. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I'm going to start off with um, crab meat here, all right? So wild caught crab, crab meat. And I'm going to do a little salad with that, all right? So first of all, I'm just going to get a little bit of olive oil. Just put it in the pan. These here are some gold potatoes. So what I did was I boiled them with the skin on, then I let it cool down to room temperature and took the skin off, okay? And I put it in the refrigerator for it to stiffen up a little bit, okay? So I'm just gonna add a few in here, just so I could uh, heat it up a little bit. So what I want to do, I just don't want to cook them. I just want to heat them up. And I don't want to mash them either, like a mashed potato. So I'm just going to take the fork and I'm just going to dig into it. And just break them up a little bit. Slip these suckers. All right. Take them off the heat. like so, and then I'm just gonna allow them to absorb the olive oil. Okay, absorb the olive oil just a little bit. Not over mash. All right, I'll just turn off this heat here. Basically now what I just want to do, I just want to grab some crab meat real quick. Just throw some in there. That's good, right? That's nice and generous. Okay. We're gonna go with a little bit fresh cilantro. Tad bit. Okay. Not too much. Coarsely chopped. I got some green onions. So if you want to chop them up. mixing process here. Add just a tad bit of salt and pepper for taste. So now, as you can see, it may look a little dry but I'm gonna fix that right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare my own little vinaigrette, okay? So it's gonna have olive oil, okay? It's gonna have fresh lemon juice. Whole lemon. And I'm going to add a tad bit of water. Now, the reason why I'm adding the water is because it's going to actually balance out the olive oil because you don't want to taste that oily texture on your tongue when you're trying to enjoy this dish, all right? Let's go 
push them in here. Simple lemon vinaigrette. Pour it in here, toss it, so we're going to put this to the side. Now we're going to go with the salmon. We'll be right back, let me just clean up my, my work surface. Alright guys, so here you got your wild Alaskan caught um, salmon, okay? So what I want to do is I want to make the skin crispy. So in order to do that, I want to score it. So this is the trick, all right? What you want to do is, just want to fold it just a little bit and you want to make a cut straight down, about a half of inch, okay? The closer the cut, the more crispier it's gonna be. Okay. This also keeps the uh, the fish from actually curling up and cooking it uneven. Now, what you want to do is this is the curling part process, right? So. Just want to put some fresh grind salt on it. And you want to put the salt inside the actual fish. Okay. Now you guys could be, become inventive if you want. And you could put like fresh parsley in there. Or, you know, thyme, rosemary in between that. Okay. So now, this is what I'm gonna do. I got a pan that's piping hot, okay? Cooking fish could be intimidating to a lot of people, but it's actually easy. All you have to do is just keep an eye on the cooking process, all right? So we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil here, okay? You see that it's smoking already, if you can see the smoke. And this is when you bring it down to medium, okay? Then what you want to do is you want to put skin down. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're just going to leave it alone and allow it to cook. If it's a small piece like this, I'll say two and a half minutes to three. If it's a larger piece, it'll be like four minutes to five. But instead of you being nervous about Looking at the clock, what I'm going to need you to do is actually look at the cooking process. So, I don't know if you could pan down. You're going to start to see that it's going to start to turn white as it starts to cook. So, eventually, it's going to start moving upwards. When it gets to three quarters of the way, that's when you turn it over. Okay? Don't move it. Don't touch it. Just let it cook. Okay? So I'm not going to make this video extra long. So when it gets to three quarters of the way, I'll show you. So I'll be back. All right, so as you can see, guys, here's three quarters of the way. All right, so now it's time to turn this over. Lower down the heat a little bit. And I'm going to be generous with the butter. Unsalted butter. Unsalted butter. <laughs> okay. Look at that nice crispy skin. That's exactly how you want it. And what I want to do is just baste. Okay. As you can see the butter now turning golden brown. Have some rosemary stored in there for flavor. 
Okay, so just baste it. So you're gonna get that nice little color on the side here. See, nice little color. Okay, so you're not gonna overcook the fish if you follow this process, okay? So now that the fish is cooked, I'm gonna turn this sucker over. and rest it, oh, you know what, it really broke apart, so, but look, you can actually see it in the inside mm -hmm. that it's cooked, you see? So what I wanna do is I wanna turn this over on the skin. Look how beautiful that fish is, okay? And I'm gonna take it off the heat, but the reason why I wanna keep it on the skin, because I wanna keep it from, from drying while we go to our next phase. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a nice little cream for this, okay? Which is going to be very simple to do, guys. All right, so first of all, I'm going to cut some butter. All right. Put this little butter in here. I have habanero peppers, okay? Just a little bit, because I don't want to overpower this, okay? Just chop it up, finely. Just put a little bit more without the seeds. Just throw that in there. Coriander. Lemon. The whole lemon when the zest it. Okay. Bring out the flavor. I don't want it to burn. Just try to have it clean. Lemon juice. Some more butter. You know you want to enrich it. And you can see it goes start to turn nice and creamy. Okay. As I'm putting in the butter. All right, a little salt and pepper to taste. Keep stirring in that butter. Allow it to reduce.
Okay, and now we'll be back. We're gonna start with the plating. As you can see, nice and creamy. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, so now we're gonna start with the plating. You guys remember the crab salad that I had? Okay, just wanna pour just a little bit in here. A little bit more of the vinaigrette, homemade vinaigrette that I made, okay? Then we're gonna go with the fresh salmon. Right on top. So we got this little piece here. So you can just put it like that if you like. I actually baked some tomatoes on the vine. Just to add a little extra flair. All I did was just put um, olive oil into it. And nice and soft, let me get this out. Cooperating, huh? And then now, that little lemon sauce that I made. And there you have it, folks. Okay, we got the crab salad with potatoes, pan seared salmon, nice little cherry um, um, tom tomatoes on the vine for the side, with a homemade vinaigrette. Bon appetit. Done. Wait. There's been requests, okay? Every time we do a video that they want the missus to taste. So please, have a taste. I'm not tasting on the camera, but I'm on the camera. <laughs> Can't see, hold on. I'm holding the camera. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Mm -hmm. How more. is it, sous chef? One more again. <laughs> One again. One more again. <laughs> I don't know. I can't hold it and eat. Too big. That piece too big, coach. I'm going to be too greedy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> so as you can see, when you bite into the uh, fish, it is the color that you want. Nice and pink. It's nice and moist. It's not dry. Your daughter's calling you. <laughs> okay. It's not overcooked. Yeah. Actually, quite tasty. You do it? Shit, I could smack myself. Mm. <laughs> ah, delicious. Bon appetit, guys. Thank you. Please duplicate this dish.